I used to have ton of startup ideas, but I was stuck. I didn't know every corner of tech and that kept me on the sidelines. Now, problem isn't knowledge. The problem is that AI is moving so fast that I can barely keep up with it. So my question is, can AI actually help me build something real? In the last couple of years, everything flipped. AI had been buzzing in the background for years, but only in 2022, it finally blew up. And only in three years, we went from, wow, AI can kind of code to of course I'm using AI to code every day. It started with GitHub Copilot in 2022. Then in 2023, Cursor, Claude, Google Bard. By 2024, we had Claude 3, GPT 4.0, Gemini Advanced leading the AI race. And now in 2025, coding agents like Claude Code, OpenAI's Codex, Gemini CLI, WineServe, Warp, they're just normal dev tools. Teams use them for coding, for reviews, for debugging, for building prototypes, pretty much for everything. So today we are putting two giants of this industry head to head. I'm terrible at remembering birthdays, names, dates, all of it. Once I even forgot my dad's birthday. I do have these reminders in my calendar, but somehow I still miss all of them. So I thought, what if instead of just another alarm that I could ignore, I actually got a real phone call. Like your mom calling to say, hey, don't forget to call your grandma. So that's the app idea. It's gonna be a service where an agent calls you to remind you about something important and makes sure you did it. If you skip the call or do not confirm, it keeps calling calling you back with some interval until you finally call your grandma. I'm gonna wipe code the exact same app with both Cloud Code and OpenAI Codex CLI so you'll see everything. I'm taking it seriously. For Cloud I'm using the Max 20X plan with the Opus 4.1 model and for OpenAI Codex I'm using Pro plan with GPT-5 model. I've scaffolded a Next.js app, added Twilio to .env and set up a Postgres database and added same base prompts to both agents. I'll add the link to the GitHub with these projects so you can find everything there. All right, let's do this. I've got four milestones lined up. For each milestone, I'll reset the session to not get out of the context window. And it also kind of realistic workflow during the development. So let's see how they handle each challenge. Both agents I gave this prompt to set up Prisma, create required tables and spin up endpoints. Claude did it in almost 13 minutes and Codex did it in 14 minutes. Both handled it well, quick, clean. Good job guys. The next prompt was to build a reminders dashboard where I could create an event like a birthday, set a date and add a phone number to get a call reminder. To make it even trickier, I added a fallback number too. So if the main contact didn't pick up the phone at the first time, the system would call the backup phone number. And that's what we got. I know you have a lot of comments about UI. Let's keep our judgment for the final results. This step was about implementing the business logic of the app. And that's where the fun part started. The task was to implement a ticker API endpoint, which will be called in intervals to trigger calls and update statuses. API route also should have handled retry logic with the fallback number here. Codex took about 40 minutes here, but only because it started working on the next milestone. And I was so confused why. I caught the issue only later when I worked with Claude. So the bug was the small line in the prompt that I mistakenly added from the next milestone. Development turned kinda into mess with Codex. I had to debug a lot and it was far from nice developer experience. With Claude I was able to catch this mistake right away on the planning stage and steer Claude into doing only milestone 3. We'll get back to it during the results overview. 
The final prompt was to integrate with Twilio through the SDK, create needed webhook handlers and implement an interactive voice system where I could confirm reminders or snooze for an hour, for example. Codex did it in a couple minutes. It just verified what wasn't done in a previous step and it finished it in this milestone. Claude handled this task quickly too. Claude was actually 20 minutes ahead of Codex. At this point, I thought Claude was killing it, but at the last minute, I found the bug where the app wasn't calling the fallback phone number and it took Claude 20 minutes to fix it. So unfortunately, in the end, the time difference, the gap between the two agents wasn't that big. This is your scheduled reminder, birthday. Say confirm or press 1 to acknowledge, say snooze or press 2 to reschedule. Confirm. Acknowledge. Have a great day. Goodbye. About dad's birthday. Please say confirm. Confirm. Thank you. Your reminder has been acknowledged. All right, let's look at the numbers. Both agents finished at the same time, just 20 seconds apart. I'd like to mention that there is a huge human factor here. How fast I responded to the agents, how quickly I tested their outputs. For example, Claude ran commands and tested APIs on its own. But with Codex, it took way longer because I had to check everything myself, which made a big difference. I don't think it's fair to say either one was truly faster in this experiment. I think I can compare them more fairly on other things like UI, debugging or accuracy. So no points for speed here. Let's talk about developer experience. That's one of the most important criteria for me. When I'm building something, I want to understand what I'm doing, what part of the application I'm working on, and what should I test, what kind of errors I'm getting. Claude is great here. Before generating code, it walks you through the plan step by step and asks you to confirm, tweak, or reject the plan. For example, in Milestone 3, I accidentally added a line about Twilio integration. With Claude's plan, Planning, I caught this mistake right away so I could steer it into the right direction. Technically, I could have let it go ahead with Twilio too, but it would be too much logic and it would be too hard for me to test everything. Codex, on the other hand, just dumped these giant walls of thinking text that I couldn't even read. In Milestone 3, I was completely confused. It started doing redundant Twilio things. I got errors. Codex didn't give me error logs, so I couldn't figure out what was wrong and how to fix it. Another big difference, Claude tested things on its own with curl and logs, which made debugging super easy. The outputs were clean and I actually felt like I understood what was happening and I felt in control the whole time. Codex just felt messy and hard to follow. My personal opinion, just because of the great developer experience, I would always prefer working with Claude. By the way, in this experiment, both tools are used out of the box, no extra setup or techniques. All the generated code and the prompts are on GitHub. If you want to try it yourself, I'll add the link in the description. Easy win for Claude code. My own code review can be subjective, so I asked an independent AI for its opinion. I fed two code bases to Gemini and here's what I got. Both builds were super accurate. They built exactly everything I asked for in the prompts, but both also had the same big security issues. Both agents left APIs open with no authentication. Maybe it's my mistake too, because I didn't mention anything about authentication in my prompts. On code quality, Gemini scored Codex slightly higher. Claude had a few bulky functions that dragged its score down. So even both failed on security, Gemini scored Codex higher, so for code review, point goes to Codex. For Claude, I had to rely on third-party tools since the subscription plan doesn't show token usage, and those tools reported around 37k tokens in and out without cash. With Codex, I tracked tokens per milestone, and it added up to about 256k total. I'm not sure if that number includes cash or not, so it's hard to do a clean comparison here. In my opinion, it would be much better if both tools just show me how 
much exactly tokens I used so that I can understand if the subscription plan still makes sense for me or I just better switch over to an API usage instead. Relying on the numbers I got, Cloud used significantly less tokens so if I would be on an API usage pricing, Cloud would be much cheaper for me. Based on what I got, plus one to Cloud code. Okay, let's talk about UI. Codex built the app in dark mode and Claude in light mode. UI is always subjective, but personally I like lighter layouts, so Claude looked nicer to me. Both had small problems. With Claude, the form titles were gray and hard to read at first, but once I sent a screenshot, it fixed the issue. Codex had a glitch where the form inputs get jumping around and we never fixed it. To be honest, I expected more modern UI from both of them. Again, UI is a very subjective topic, but between two of them, I felt Claude's version was more cleaner, so I'm giving this point to Claude. In my prompts, I never mentioned anything about thinking mode. I didn't use keywords like think, think harder, or ultra think, but Codex kept invoking thinking tokens all the time. Claude didn't use them at all and still get the job done. Maybe that's why we have this difference in token usage. So Claude gets a score here. Codex didn't give me any logs for the errors when the system was calling the phone number, so it was really hard to tell what was the issue. Debugging with Claude was way easier since Claude was running the app in the separate bash process, so it had access to the app output. Plus, it had detailed logs right out of the box, which made the troubleshooting way easier. So yeah, debugging is an easy win for Claude code. Let's sum up everything. Claudex had some good moments in code review, but Claude felt smoother, easier to debug, and overall just nicer to work with. So the winner is Claude Code. That's the battle. The biggest thing for me isn't who actually won. I'm still kind of shocked that these AIs helped me build something that I would struggle to do solo. It would take me weeks or even months to, to do everything on my own, work on front-end, back-end, databases, Twilio integration, and Grog, and many other things. And now we just watched AI builds a Twilio integration code. Do you know how much I used to hate dealing with third-party integrations? And now it's just done in minutes. Each of these AIs has its own strengths and the fact that either of them exists still blows my mind. I started coding when Stack Overflow was our AI assistant. Can you imagine what we'll have in a couple years? If you survived this coding battle and want to see more AI experiments, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. I'm curious which one would you pick, Codex or Cloud Code? Or maybe you think AI sucks and you just stick with the um, Stack Overflow forever. <laughs> Let's discuss it in comments. If you made this far, you are the real one. It was way better.